Hi everyone, it's Jeff. Welcome to another video. In this video, we discuss five signals that suggest you're saving too much for retirement. Coming up next on Holy Schmidt. Holy Schmidt! After I graduated from business school, I went to see a financial advisor and what I said to him was, I want to put everything I have, every spare dollar into some form of a retirement account. And the best advice that anyone could get was given to me that day. This gentleman said, life is long and you need to save as if you're walking a marathon, not running a sprint. Those words have stuck to me until this day. And when I think about those words, I see a variety of different people that are obsessed with saving for retirement to their own detriment. Let's get into it. But before we do, please make sure you click subscribe and notifications so that you get alerted the next time I post a video. I post about twice a week. I have a question for you. When you think about retirement, are you thinking about escaping or transitioning? Escaping means that you're going to go full Marlon Brando and exit stage right. Transitioning means that you're going to continue to dabble in the money-making arena, whether it's through a part-time job, a hobby that generates income, consulting, etc. As you would expect, escaping means that you need to save more for retirement than transitioning. In fact, if you plan on generating $10,000 per year in part-time income, the absence of that part-time income means that you need to save approximately $250,000 more in your retirement accounts, assuming that you spend approximately 4% per year using the 4% rule. We need this as part of the frame, but this isn't the big frame. This is just a data point. Once you know the answer to this question, everything I'm going to talk to you about next will make a lot more sense. Signal number one is that you actually blow through your contribution limits. From time to time, you'll hear about people that over contribute to their retirement savings, their 401k, their IRA, etc. If you don't catch it, all sorts of bad things happen. And depending on the type of retirement vehicle you use, the penalties differ, but a very common one is the 6% penalty. First, if you don't catch it, you will owe 6% per year on your excess contributions. This means that if you had a 10% return, it now becomes a 4% return. Now, I don't have to tell you that there are much better places to put your money, even if you don't have the tax advantages, if 60% of your returns are going to be taken away from you. Signal number two is that you're missing other money goals, other money targets. You're not continuing your education, which would result in higher income. You're not paying off your mortgage, which would result in a safer retirement. You're not paying off your credit card, which is very bad altogether because you're paying somebody else 20%. This is, as they say, penny wise and pound foolish. It happens more often than you would think. People become caught up in getting every dollar into a savings vehicle without understanding the better use of that money. Point number three is that it's causing health issues, mental or physical health issues. This point reminds me of the 1984 film, A Christmas Carol, starring George C. Scott. George plays Ebenezer Scrooge, and there's a scene where Bob Cratchit asks him if he can put another lump of coal in the furnace. Scrooge then proceeds to lecture Cratchit about the cost of a lump of coal and suggests to him that he put on a coat instead. Anytime you forego spending money on things that could actually damage your health physically, that's a time to spend the money and not damage your health. Things like a gym, a doctor's visit, the cost of medication all come to mind. And then there are the mental health issues with saving too much money, not getting out, not socializing, not going on vacation, not doing the things to give your mind a break from the day to day. This is particularly important right now. Point number four is that you have no plan. You don't know how much you need in retirement. You just have a major number or maybe no number. The number is as much as you can possibly save. A few times I've seen in the comment section that people have highlighted that they need 10, 15, 20, 25 million dollars to retire the way that they want to retire. I would suggest to you that you can probably do it for less than 10% of any of those numbers depending on how you set yourself up. And the last one, I didn't even think I needed to put it on here but I've heard it multiple times now, is an obsession with cash having and hoarding cash, having safe deposit boxes filled with cash. 
I recently read about someone who was pulled over with almost $90,000 worth of cash in a gym bag. The police confiscated the cash. They weren't going to give it back to him. As it turned out, it was just an obsession with cash. There was no drug money associated with it. They couldn't even prove that there were any issues associated with it. An obsession with holding cash is probably not the best reason to save money. For those of you who watch this channel on a regular basis, you've often heard me say you can never have too much money in retirement. That is still true, even with this list. I will caveat that by saying that even though you can never have too much money in retirement, how you get to that point may make a difference on if you even make it to retirement at all. So make sure that you keep a balance in your life and you don't hoard cash or hoard savings just for the sake of hoarding savings without actually understanding the end game. If you like this video, please make sure you click subscribe and notifications. Retirement information is changing fast and I work very hard to get what's out there and here for you. This is Jeff Schmidt. Thanks for watching.